Well, good morning, everybody. It's Daybreak on iFiber One News Radio. Thursday mornings at this time, we focus on Shelton, brought to you by our community credit union. Happy to have Craig Gregory in from Public Works. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are he you? Is the, I'm, well, he's the Public Works director, and we've got big changes and public meetings to talk about. A couple of public meetings coming. Okay. Uh, first one that we really want to get out there and just want to try to keep the word uh, going out there with all of this communication that we're doing. Um, Shelton Out Loud was fabulous and, and just want to keep that rolling. Okay. But uh, we've got the rate study for uh, water and sewer coming on the 23rd okay. of this month. It is a Monday at 5 o'clock. That meeting will start. And really, we're just discussing kind of what the rates are going to look like for the next six years um, and what the recommendations are. The FCS group uh, came in. They were a consulting group. And took a look at that, and and they're going to give us that uh, basically a roadmap of of where we need to go in the next six years. Is this where we talk about some of the things that you and your crew have done with the redesigns of Basin Three and the way you've been able to save some money there uh, in the long run uh, in those aspects? Yes, certainly that will be part of it. Uh, we did take a look at the capital improvement plan for both water and sewer, uh, and through just forward thinking by uh, the entire crew and new technology, we were able to cut about $44 million out of the capital improvement plan um, over the next uh, decade or so. Wow. So that certainly helped with the what they're going to propose for the new rates uh, moving forward. So Are these yeah, that certainly helped. Impactful for every citizen in Shelton or just specific areas? No, it will be the entire customer base uh, this will reflect on. So okay. Yeah, very important. Folks are able to come and talk a little bit about that, express their opinions on this upcoming Monday meeting? Yes, and they will be able to ask questions of not only the FCS group representative that will be there, uh, but also we will have uh, staff, city staff, to answer any technical questions or anything that they have issues with uh, as far as the capital improvement plan or just general questions. So we will have a couple of staff members there. Uh, to field those questions also. Okay. Uh, another big change is uh, potentially coming up with some uh, road work around the Alder area in Olympic Highway North, right? Yes, the downtown connector project. Okay. Uh, we are going to have a public meeting on the 25th of this month. So that Wednesday, uh, following the Monday FCS group and the rate study uh, on Wednesday at 6 o'clock, we will have a presentation uh, looking at the design of the downtown connector project, which is Alder Street, Olympic Highway North, uh, from first all the way to the top of the hill at C Street. Wow. So, But we've got some major changes coming with that roadway um, from the intersection at first and Alder to on-street parking, uh, the entire length of that project, uh, some major changes to the hill portion between 7th and C Street and also uh, some roadways, some side roadways that will be affected at 8th um, and also at the top of the hill at A and B streets. Mm -hmm. uh, so some major changes, but we'd really like to get some input from the public and and see what they're thinking for this project to make sure that we're going in the right direction. Some of the things I think we've talked about in the past about this project, uh, including the now uh, shelved idea of the modern uh, intersection there at uh, Alder and First. First. Yes. Um, and then moving forward, I when I'm driving on that road, I notice that there's a lot of uh, signage as well for um, like gas lines and things like this. So this is going to be a major project. It will be a major project. Yes, it is a almost $5 million project uh, that we've applied for a TIB grant. Mm -hmm. uh, we will know mid-month next month. Um, whether we got that or not, but even moving forward um, to have a full design uh, looking at next year's uh, funding sources and applications, it's certainly going to put us in a better position even if we don't get funded for this year. Is this the so. same project too that could uh, get some help from some different entities that use portions of that road I think we've talked about before? Yes, that is one of the major changes. Uh, we've got a partnership with the PUD um, to do some lighting and some changes to the lighting. Uh, really to mirror what we've got on Railroad Avenue, um, if that's really what the public wants to see, um, is moving away from the old wood poles that are out there now to something a little nicer, uh -huh. uh, more aesthetically pleasing. Um, and also with uh, Mason, Trans uh, Mason Transit, 
We are looking at uh, 8th Street closing that off and making a bus pull off for them to put a shelter and an actual uh, stop for them. Wow. Um, they're next to the library. So, yes, some major changes coming with some great partners, and it's been great to work with them and, and rekindle that relationship uh, with them uh, moving forward. Let's go back to that Shelton Out Loud event, which was a uh, well attended. Lots of folks talking about the different issues. Were you able to come back from that uh, and talk with the leadership team in the city and with your crew and public works about uh, this was brought up a couple times maybe we need to focus on this a little more certainly we are hearing you so yeah any of these meetings that you can attend or, or get your get the word out uh as as the public we are hearing you so yes we went back and, and looked at everything that was discussed and and maybe what we could fix we're not out there every day right. looking at this stuff. We don't know where some of the issues are at. And just like these projects that we've got coming, we need to know what you're thinking. So we need you to come out and, and voice your opinion. So we've really been just trying to reach out to the public and, and get them to these couple of meetings, just like we did with Shelton Out Loud. I thought that was so well attended. Yeah. And we would really like to see a good majority of the public come out and, and let us know what they're thinking on these other two. So coming up this Monday at 5 Monday the 23rd. Monday the and, 23rd at 5. Yes, and Wednesday uh, the 25th at 6 o'clock. Okay, so a couple big meetings to put on the calendar. We'll remember to uh, remind you as well as we get closer to those dates. But we focus on Shelton now and weekly at this time, brought to you by our community credit union. Again, Craig Gregory, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me.